Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So a special shout out to DLJ from PA. I got this cute little hat. It's North Face from her on her on ugh, from her Poshmark closet. So um she actually just did a video recently of uh it's like uh I, she's in impersonating like other uh YouTube channels and she did mine and she had on a hat and she was sitting on a couch and she's like hey bolo buddies thanks for watching it was hilarious but she did a whole bunch of other sellers so you guys should definitely go check out her channel and watch it because it is a hoot um I'm gonna show you right here her channel let me get screen share up and this is her channel it's right here reseller impressions that's what it's called but you guys have got to go check it out. It is so funny. And if you watch the other channels that she's featuring, which I watch a lot of them, it is, it is, she does a great job. She's a hoot. So super, super fun video. And then here is the hat that I bought, <laughs> which is funny because she's rocking it and now I'm rocking it. Um, but it's a North Face beanie hat and her store is DLJ from PA. So definitely go check her out and follow her and share if you have time. It's always nice to help others. And yeah, she's got a great store. So anyhow, I got off on, a, started with a tangent there. I wanted to talk about my hat that I got that I bought from another uh, YouTuber because I love it. And I needed a new hat because my roots are really long from lockdown. This is a Poshmark Bolo video. Um, items to be on the lookout for items that I sold on Poshmark and it's not all clothing I do sell in jewelry and then the homes category shoes stuff like that So if you are an eBay reseller or a Mercari reseller these items are for fantastic for those platforms also So let's get started. All right screen share on First item is this Amy Kesternberg clutch purse. I picked this up at a discount store. I bought like 20 of them and all of them have sold except for, I think I have about three left and I sold this for $30 and the buyer pays shipping on Poshmark and Poshmark takes 20%. Um, I've got about $3 in this item. So really good, you know, decent margins. Shouldn't say really good, but pretty good. This I picked up, I believe, at either TJ Maxx or Gabriel Brothers. I can't remember, but I want to say I paid five bucks for it. It's an IZOD four-piece outfit. It's a boy's size 14. I sold it for $30 plus the buyer paid shipping. These little Ralph Lauren shoes. So one thing that I like to do when I am garage sailing is I like to go to garage sales and I like to bundle up all the kids' clothes and I like to resell them in small lots or individually, depending on the item on Poshmark. These little flip-flops sold for $13 plus the buyer paid shipping. So when you see um, kids' items, more than likely they came from a garage sale. The next item, this Under Armour t-shirt, I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid the shipping. And it's a size 2T. This Mickey Mouse Major League Baseball pin, I listed this and it sold super fast. Uh, it sold for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. These Longenberger Stovetop Salt and Pepper, pepper Shakers. Uh, back to the Mickey Mouse uh, pin, this came in a Disney pin lot that I picked up at a garage sale, so I probably have about a quarter in it. Uh, the Salt and Pepper Shakers, garage sale, paid five bucks for them. and they're really nice. They sold like, I think within a day, super fast, sold for $45 plus shipping. Um, Long and Burger, I think is native to Ohio. So you're, if you're in Ohio, maybe Pennsylvania, you're going to maybe find Long and Burger. I don't know if it's really going to be in a lot of other states, but if you live in Ohio, definitely look for it. It does sell. The next item, Pokemon, Pokemon Pop Sockets. So this is a phone grip. This was a Toys R Us um, retail arbitrage when they were going out of business. I think I had about $1.50 or something in these. I have them listed on Poshmark for $10. I, I don't really go any lower than $10. Um, 
because by the time Poshmark takes their $2.95, um, that doesn't leave much meat on the bone. I just kind of priced it at 10 to move them and they typically sell. Now, if you want to lot them in a bundle, I think I have 10% off of bundles and I've had some people do that, but I have a, like all the characters and they've done pretty well. I have them cross posted. They sell on every platform. So the pop sockets are great. I think these do good also because they're Pokemon. So the next item is this Marika sports brawl. And this is a 40 C size 40 C and I sold it for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. This is express. These are, this is, oh my goodness. These are express women's jeans size four long. I picked these up at a discount store. They are new with tags for around $3 and I sold them for 35 plus shipping. So there's a discount store I go to and I, I used to go to, I don't really go anymore because it's just, um, I'm getting out of clothes. But uh, a lot of times I would wait until items clearance off of the discount stores prices. So I was getting stuff at 80 and 90% off. That's how I got them for three bucks. This is another just kids lot. I sold this for $20 plus shipping. This is an Australia dinosaur designs resin bracelet. This came from my 350 pound bulk buy jewelry lot. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. This sold on Poshmark first. It sold like within a day for $58 plus shipping. So if you see one of these, they are a bolo. The next item is this 1986 vintage creative circle unicorn tapestry kit. So um, funny thing is this was listed on eBay for quite a while. And I thought it was going to be like a score when I bought it because it's unicorn, but it just wasn't moving on eBay. And the other day I'm like, you know what, I'm going to put that on Poshmark and it sold within a day for $30 plus shipping. The next item are these Not Your Daughter's Jeans black and white track pants. I sold these for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. The Okay, so this is a really old item. Um, I have probably had this since I lived in my old house. So, gosh, when did I move in here? I moved here in, I think, 2014. So, yeah, I've had this a while. And I think I paid up a little bit for it. I think I paid like $15 for it. So I sold it for 25. So not a huge profit, but hey, for having it that long, I was just happy to see it go. Um, you got to be careful with swimsuits. A lot of people like to try swimsuits on, so they're hard to sell online. These Express Black Sailor Pants size zero. These have been one of my hottest sellers. Um, I have had them for a while now. Um, I'm going to guess I probably sold 50 or 60 pairs of these. Um, I bought them for $3 each and they usually sell anywhere from $25 to $35 depending on the site. I did take a best offer on these for $25 and the buyer paid the shipping. This is another very old one. If you guys see carpet, you know that it is an old listing. I sold these for $16 plus shipping. Again, very happy to see them go. I think I paid $3 for these also at a discount store. Again, a retail arbitrage. So I still made money, you know, probably had them six, seven years and still making a profit. So gotta love it. Uh, Victoria's Secret Brawl. Again, retail arbitrage item. Items go to a discount store and then I wait until they clearance out. This used to be all I did is shop the discount stores, but um, not anymore. Now I'm like thrift stores, garage sales. That's what I want to do. But all of them are either black lined or this is called, uh, what is that called? Heat sealed or they're marked clipped or something. And I just disclosed that and put a picture and this one sold for $20 plus shipping. Here's another one. It sold for $17 plus shipping. Again, I had probably between two and three dollars in it. This is an express sweatshirt. Again, uh, retail arbitrage. I paid about three dollars for it at a discount store. I sold it for $22 plus shipping. This is a super old from my old house, but I bought a bunch of them. Um, I had some 3X and 4X. Those sold super fast. For some reason, this 2X has just been hanging around. So I was so happy to sell it for $20 the buyer paid shipping and it retails for $85. It's a nice shirt. 
Um, I think I paid $3 for this one. This is a Catherine's brawl. I just listed this one. Uh, these sell pretty quick. Uh, the plus size brawls. If you guys are looking for plus size brawls, I have tons. I have Catherine's. I have Cacique. Um, I love selling brawls. Like I still will pick up brawls if I see them because um, I like them. But I got this at a discount store. I paid $5.35 for it and it sold for $28 buyer paid shipping. This is another one, Catherine's Brawl, size 40D. It's got the front closure. This one sold for $21 plus shipping. These Venenza jeans, again, I think that's how you say it. I might be saying that wrong, but uh, sold them for 20. Again, super, super old. Okay, I believe that they were selling these at Fashion Bug when I bought out Fashion Bug when they were going out of business. I got so much Fashion Bug inventory and you guys are probably like Fashion Bug, but I did really, really good with those Fashion Bug items. Um, I think I paid ooh, three to five dollars for these and they sold for 20. So I still made a profit. So pretty excited to have those go bye bye. <laughs> the next item, this Parfait by Often Toss Baby Doll. I bought tons of these. I mean, hundreds. Um, I think I paid anywhere between a dollar and three dollars. So let's average it out at about two bucks a piece. I sold this for $18 plus shipping and this one sold for $18 plus shipping. Also, what I did is I sent out an offer to all of the watchers and there were a bunch of watchers on this item. I don't know if it tells how many watchers I don't think this is in the actually sold area. So I don't think it does. But two buyers took me up on the offer. So I did offer discounted shipping on that too. So um, that just gives the buyer, instead of paying the $7 and whatever cents, they get it for, I think, five. Here's another one that sold for 15 plus shipping. And this little vintage art glass paperweight, they offered me 20. I had 40 on it. I countered at 30 and they accepted. Um, it's a really, really nice heavy weight hand-blown glass paperweight. So I was really excited about that one. I just put it on Poshmark and I want to say it sold within a day or two. And you can see it's handmade because it's got the signature of the person. It's probably some crazy famous person. I didn't look it up. I probably should have. But uh, yeah, uh, sold. Let's see, it is signed. Yeah. So I want to say I paid a buck or two for it. I Probably more like a dollar. It was a garage sale and I bought a bunch of glass from her. Okay, this picture is out of focus. I apologize. I I have sold so many of these. Uh, this is my last pair actually. And they all sold with the blurry photo. Again, I had a bunch of them. It's an old listing. It's on carpet. Um, I don't recommend taking pictures on carpet. Try to get a white background if you can. Again, this was a long time ago when I didn't care. And I don't have time to update my photos. So it is what it is, but you'll, the stuff will still sell. It's just, it looks nicer with a white background. So RPX athletic shorts, big and tall 4X. I sold these for $21 in the buyer paid shipping. And again, we are back at Dale's store, DLJ from PA. Again, go check her out. And my store is CRH0800. If you want to check out my Poshmark store, I do have a link down in the description of the video. And as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, I know like not everybody that watches me does a lot of Poshmark, but think about branching out, you know? Uh, List Perfectly is fantastic. I love List Perfectly. That's how I'm cross-posting everything. When I started Poshmark, I did everything manually and it was a bear. It was a bear. Um, and now, it's like, oh, I love it. It's awesome. But I have a couple videos on it if you guys want to go check those out. I think actually one of them's linked down in the description of the video, if I remember correctly. I think I just put it there. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I love lists perfectly. So thanks for watching. Again, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I have tons and tons of Bolo videos. So if you want to see some of my other what sold videos, some of my featured seller videos. I've got category videos, bolos, bolos, bolos. Be on the lookout. All right, you guys. Um, I, 
if you made it to the end, if you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end. Have a great night.